today I'm going to talk about the Festo checkbox. This is a compact inspection system that will allow you to determine if parts that you're fitting into a system are in the correct orientation or if they are the correct parts. As you can see, the checkbox here on the bottom has um, the light that will allow you to inspect the system. Um, on the very top, you have the connections. So you have an ethernet connection, uh, 24 volts, connection for actuators, uh, an encoder signal, and some I.O. for the PLC. You also have two buttons, one to start and stop the checkbox, and then another one to check the status and actually teach um, new parts. So <clears throat> here we have some buttons to simulate um, the, the I.O. from the PLC, for example, starting and stopping the system. By pushing this button, I can start the system or stop it. And then I can also select different programs. Um, and uh, what else can I do here? I can simulate an external fault and so on. Uh, I also have some light here that will show me the, the status of the actuators. So on the back here, I have two valves. Um, some of these, uh, these valves are used for rejects. So for example, the actuator number three will switch on green whenever the part is good. That means that the part goes through, right? Uh, the actuator number two is a red light. That means that one of the uh, valves is gonna switch on. And um, right now I don't have any air connected here, but if I did have air, I will have air going through one of these um, uh, channels here, right? Uh, to reject the part at a certain position. Let's say that I have a shoot here where the part is rejected. The actuator number one means that the part is correct. Uh, it's just not on the correct orientation. So it's the right part. It's just not on the right orientation. So maybe here uh, on some other part, I have another shoot which will return the part to um, the origin where it's coming from. So as you can imagine here on the left, uh, well, here I have a conveyor, right? A small conveyor. Um, so you can see I just started it. Uh, here on the left, you can imagine that this will be the input from let's say a bowl feeder or some, some sort of uh, fitting system like that. It goes through the inspection system, through the checkbox, and then it exits through here and it fits whatever system you're working with. Um, the checkbox is this one. You can find it on the website as chb-c-n. There's the part number 3501040. Um, so today I'm just going to do a quick example. I have these two parts, right? So these two connectors, one of them has two pins. Uh, it's a little bit, um, uh, this one is wider. Uh, that, than this one, the three pin. And in my example, the three pin connector is gonna be the, the good part. The two pin is gonna be the bad part. Now for this three pin connector, I decided to have two orientations. So this one would be the correct one. So if I fit my part like this, it will be correct. If I fit it like this, uh, one second. So if I fit it like this, it will be incorrect, right? So. Let's do a quick test. Uh, well, before we do that, um, just another look at the parts. I have a good mix there. Um, I just wanted to show you the software, how it looks like. So in this case, I'm counting the number of pins. I'm also doing some other evaluations like the total width, the height, and checking also some areas on the part. Um, I scanned 15 parts as sample parts, and then here on the right, I'm going to get the results from my test parts once I start running them. So as you can imagine, green is good, red is bad. So red, red will mean that it failed a certain um, evaluation. So let's start. Uh, and we'll see during this, this first pass, we'll see here green, red, or yellow. Green is good, yellow is incorrect orientation, and red is bad part. So I'm just gonna go with the first one, this one first. Uh, and then it goes like that, correct orientation, we get a green light, so it passes through. Uh, let's put another one, but in this time I'm going to put it on the incorrect orientation, so like this. And we should get a yellow light. Yellow light, and you actually heard the coil of the electrovalve 
uh, switch on. Right now, as I mentioned, I don't have air, so you'll just listen, you, you'll just hear the coil and you'll see this yellow light or red light depending. Now I'm going to pad a completely, pass a completely incorrect part. So this one with two pins goes through and I should get a red light, red light. And I also heard the coil. Let's, let's pass another two pin, red light. And if we go back here, we see, okay, that last part, number four, it's a red. And then we see that it just counted two, um, connect two pins there. So let's pass another, let's pass a good part. So good part goes in, green light, no coil on the valve, so it's good. We come over here, we see that the last part was good and uh, it counted the, the right the right amount of pins. So let's keep going, just uh, actually I'm just gonna increase the speed of the conveyor just a little bit and let's pass another one. So good part, incorrect orientation, bad part, bad part, just gonna increase the speed of the conveyor a little bit more. And I'm just gonna pass one other part, green. And just an extra good part. Goes through, green, all right. So that is the checkbox system. As you can see here on the front, it has a nice display that will show you some statistics. Right now it says that it is running. Um, I can also see which program is running. So you can see it says there electrical connector. Um, and then uh, what else? Uh, if I stop it, so stop, it'll stop and it'll show me the IP address, the version of the checkbox and so on. So that was the Festo checkbox. Again, Festo, and then you can look it up. It's called CHBCN. This system is perfect for ball fitters. It will guarantee that you're working with the correct parts. Thank you.